Evening guys, Dave Canterbury with Pathfinder School. I thought what we'd talk about today is frog gigs. I think that gigs, frog gigs, fish gigs, those type items are one of the most undervalued or underrated items that you can put into your survival kit. They don't take up a whole lot of room. It's much easier to carry a metal one than it is to mess around and try to make one that's going to be near strong enough to use repeatedly over and over again like a metal one would be. And we carry three different types of gigs on our website. There are three that I've selected. We're going to take those three out tonight. We're going to try to get some frogs. I want to show you guys a frog leg recipe that I'm real fond of. Maybe in a video later tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, the first gig that we carry is a B&M gig. And this gig is just a three-prong gig. It's got large, large barbs on the tines. This is a really good, convenient gig. It is a smaller gig on the front end as far as what kind of stick you're going to put on there. It takes a smaller diameter stick than the other two gigs that I carry, but it's very easy to make a sheath for it. This is just a piece of PVC that I heated up with a heat gun, flattened it out, covered it in duct tape, and I basically squeezed it into a vise after I heated it up and let it cool, and it makes a really good sheath for that frog gig and it stays in there really good. I can just tuck that inside of my pack. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. Good for a whole lot of things, not just frogs and fish. You know, snakes holding critters down that you've got hung into a snare, a trap, things like that that you're going to dispatch. Good for that too. So that's a B&M gig. Now I carry two gigs by Danielson on my website, and they're a little bit larger type gigs. This one is a five-tine frog gig or fish gig, and it is in square configuration where it's not just three flat tines. This one's in a square with four and one in the center. So you get more of that shotgun type effect, I guess. That's what you want to look how you want to look at it. But it gives you more surface area that you can cover to try to stick those animals with. It's going to require a little bit bigger diameter stick and we'll talk about that in just a minute. And then the third one that we carry is a full on fish type gig. And it has one, two, three, four, five tines as well but they're straight across. This is for bigger stuff like carp, things like that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want a spear pole. And I like my spear poles made out of some kind of a light hardwood. And mine has got holes drilled in it, two holes here and two holes on the other end for just a leather lashing or a piece of paracord, depending on which end I have the gig on. That way I can put that around my wrist. And I'm definitely not going to lose that gig when I'm using it. In case I get a big fish on or something like that, it's not going to pull it out of my hand. And I've got both ends of this gig are exactly the same, but they're two different diameters. So I've got a larger one here that's got two holes, and I've got a smaller one here that's got the two holes. So if I'm using a bigger gig, like this five tine by Danielson, I put it on the larger diameter side and put the leather lashing at the bottom. Then you're going to want to put some type of screw in here, and that can just be a reusable wood screw that you screw with your multi-tool is the best to hold that gig on there or you could tie a piece of paracord in there and lash it down further on here so that if it pulls off it's not going to get lost on you. Either way works fine. Or I can put the larger gig on this side, the large fish gig, and then if I decide to use the other side or use the smaller gig, the smaller three-time frog gig, I can just pull this leather lacing out of here and put it on the bottom and put this gig on here and then I'm set to gig frogs with this. So it really just depends on which size gig I'm using. This pole is set up for both. I like my poles taller than I am so there's no chance of me falling over and shoving this thing into my eye. I like this thing right out about the top of my head level or a little bit higher when I cut it. And it's just a nice strong sapling that's been prepped on both ends for gigging and this is my gigging pole. Very easy to make, very common man. Most of these gigs are fairly inexpensive. They're going to last you pretty much a lifetime because they're made out of metal. So we're going to get these things hooked on the end of this pole. Wait till dark. Go see what we can do to uh, decimate the frog population and get some frog legs going. Stay with me, guys.